pretty much ran out of options at this point. Are you gonna be here for when me and Sean cook dinner? I know where he is! Whoa! Hello one, hello all, it's the most hottest ghost of them all, Casper in the flesh, and it's time for a review of Four Bats, You Made Me a Star. Four Bats is a Dallas, Texas rapper, singer, R&B crooner, and he's been grabbing a lot of attention lately, mostly due to the contrast of his style, how you, you see him on the cover. You see him on the cover. He's dressed in a shiesty, gold grill, looking like he's about to drop like the hardest rap album ever, mostly in the trap lane, with a lot of energy, a lot of aggression. But when you listen, you do not get that. You get this slow-paced production, infantile vocals, which in a concept I guess is fine, but he just does nothing interesting with this whatsoever. And this really does show an example of gimmick over quality. And really makes me wish that Rumor would come back. Because with Rumor, he was honestly doing something of a similar thing, where he had the skull mask on and singing, but very passionately though, like I actually felt his performance. But this thing though, is a snoozer. With this pitched up crooning, we get weak songwriting. And why is there a smoke detector beep on act two, I, I ask of you? Or the voicemail bleep on act four? And this really doesn't add much of anything at all. In fact, I feel this album follows formulas at points and really just turns into rinse, wash, repeat. Which pretty much just leads to a deja vu effect where we get these pitched vocals and syrupy production that goes into the switch where the vocals are pitched down and we get this even more syrupy, more sleepy production as well. It really gives nothing at all. And if it's not on the same track, it leads to another one. Which leads to a very underwhelming album and as drab as the vocals are, the lyrical content is even worse in the context of we're supposed to feel sorry for this guy. Because he does talk about heartbreak. But as I pay attention to the lyrics, they are just reeking with very controlling bars, very toxic bars, and love bombing. And then after listening to it a bunch of times, you're like, holy shit, I know why she left. And if you thought this thing wasn't dripping with toxicity already, wait till you hear the verse from the Nazi himself, Kanye West. And it's mostly no vocal versatility whatsoever. I feel like we're getting the same baby voice over and over. And maybe on the song Hate to Be Alone, where he's like pouring his heart out, but the production is pretty messy. And perhaps this is supposed to be a sympathetic moment for the listener, it's automatically derailed by the toxic garbage ass misogyny that Kanye spews on the following track. But yeah, this thing is boring sonically, manipulative and gross lyrically. That leaves me with no sympathy for this guy whatsoever. Just, this is probably the most underwhelming, sleepy, bland, just devoid of excitement R&B. I probably heard since the Party Next Door's debut. And I can hear other people critiquing me, saying, it's about the vibe, man. Aren't you about the vibe? Don't you listen to music to vibe? And if you want a vibe, that's cool. But for me, I listen to music to feel. If I'm listening to music, I want to enjoy it. I want to feel it. Because that, to me, is what music is. Music is noise that is artistically done, artistically expressed, that you feel. That to me is music. This to me is just background R&B wallpaper. That's what this is. So if you want to listen to music to vibe, cool. I listen to music to feel. And I'm feeling a zero on this album. But hey, it's just my opinion. If you've listened to this, what did you think of it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Why? That's it. Caspa, Gothic Ghost, 
four bats. You made me a star. Till we meet again.